A lot of throws where the hip goes in deep, you see an IU, you turn. This one, where you're not turning all the way. You're not going, you're not sticking your hip all the way out. Hip placement is here. This way. You're going to use them in one hand. Yeah, not, not both. Yeah, not, I'm not lifting up with my whole, whole back. Just here. This hand, and come around. Here. And the foot, it kind of starts this, this is the same triangle we've done for a lot of the throws. Same thing here. And I'm not lifting him up and doing it, I just come in and I turn. I'm not coming in and <laughs> squatting him. It's just here. He goes over. So as he comes in though, you notice his hips are lower than mine. So his center of gravity is lower than mine. So all he has to do is lean forward and I'm coming up, up on top of his hip as he just leans forward slightly and he turns. Okay, so it's not like he's lifting me and trying to throw me over this way. All he's doing is lift me on this hip and just turning down. Okay? So it's a twisting motion, right? And that hand pulled me, pulled me back, pulled my back tight to his hip. Okay? So there's not a whole lot of effort in this either. <coughs> Even on somebody big, this isn't this isn't a throw where they're coming in. Just lift them up. Mm -hmm. This is actually good for a smaller person because it's uh, it's easy to get underneath. I said the hard part is getting underneath. Once you get underneath somebody here, and it's not like I'm lifting up, all I'm doing is leaning my weight here. And so just by leaning, his weight comes on top of me, and then all I have to do is turn. Okay? You're not trying to pick up your ball off the ground. Oh, yeah. Okay. Throw him down. All right? Just enough where you have his weight slightly on your hip. So when you turn, you can take his feet off the ground. Okay? Any questions? Floating and throw. Let's get some of the new guys with a uh, pair up with some of our advanced guys. Okay? Is your partner about the same size? 